Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. Today's episode, we're going to be drawing a top hat, because I drew one yesterday, and I didn't explain how. So let's make up for that now. In order to draw a top hat, the first thing I like to do is to create the head that the hat is going to sit on. You just make two quick lines that are kind of curved and meet at the bottom, like that, and like that, and that'll do fine for a head shape. Heads have all kinds of different shapes, but they're generally speaking symmetrical, so maybe that's something for you to aim at. Next we're going to be doing the shape of the hat. Start a little bit above these lines and make a couple of vertical lines that flare out a little bit at the top. Not a whole lot, just a touch. You can even connect these two lines with a slight curve that goes down a little bit. Do the same thing at the bottom. And we've already drawn the body of our top hat. Next let's draw the brim. Now the brim is the part that goes over your eyes and circles the hat. We can make that by copying this line just below it, right here. And then making curved lines that go kind of up a little bit and back down. And you can do this on both sides. And we're talking top hat already. Every good hat has a hat band. So why not give this one a hat band? And a hat band is a band that goes around the hat. There you go. That wasn't so hard. Make the top of the hat by creating a line that goes the other way from this line. And we're moving right along. Maybe you want to add a flower or a feather or something to your hot top hat. That's fine. Go ahead and do that. I won't be. I'm going to do is just color it in. The top hats are pretty classy objects, or can be. You see them a lot on snowmen, millionaires, and if we understand properly from our magical friends, rabbits live in them. Here we go. And as you know, I'm not the best colorer in the world, but then again, I'm not the best drawer in the world either, so there you have it. Next, we're going to color in this part. That's pretty easy. What I like to do is sort of color in most of the way on the left side in this instance, like that. Then leave just a little bit of space and color in the rest of the hat. What this is going to do is leave kind of a a shiny spot that goes down right there. That'll work towards creating the shape of this hat. Allowing everybody to see that it is in fact round, or roundish, or circular, or ovular. Now I'm sure you're much better at coloring than I am, so this is probably going a lot easier for you than it is for me. Also, you're probably not sitting behind a camera with your arms extended ahead of you, trying to hold your head to the side so that you can see what you're doing. Hopefully you're in a lot more of a comfortable position. So there you go. And by allowing this white area here, you're also giving the texture as well as the shape. You can see that it's kind of shiny and smooth. Most top hats are lined with silk. 
and this one would be no exception. And we're going to color in the top, not go too crazy about it. That's good enough. And we're almost done. A little bit of texture to the hat band here. Just some little lines going across indicating that it's lighter than the rest of the hat. And if you have different colored markers, you could make a red band with a black hat or whatever it is that you like. I'm going to kind of reinforce the size of the hat here so you can see it nicely. as well as the front of the brim. Well, as I add a face to our drawing, I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with a friend. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you next time. It's a Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!